Hello everyone, it's Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo here for another Star Citizen edX Anonymous. And this is going to be the first of many of my videos covering 3.5. Now, I waited for there to be a stable version. I've been in this version of the PTU for about, I think it's, it's about four or five days now. And it's been quite frustrating because of the constant crashes, the slowdowns, and the... Well, graphical glitches, like spawning inside your habitat and uh, getting outside of it and finding out that all you see out there is space. But things seem to be settling down now. There was a major patch yesterday, and I'm ready to show off some really cool things in the game. Now, the development of Star Citizen has been filled with many milestones, and, you know, the original one way back in 2013, where you were actually able to go into the hangar, still sets itself apart from everything else. And that's only because it was the first milestone that actually showed the vision of Chris Roberts and where this game was headed. And that was just with an Aurora sitting inside of a hangar. Well, today I thought it was going to be another major milestone, but a minor one for me. And that's what I, and that was the introduction of female characters. But instead, I got a little bit of a exciting surprise, and that's the DNA system. And we're going to go over that right now. So we're going to click on a female character over here, and we are going to start making a character. Okay, and we're going to do that in a very specific way. So this is the one I've already made a couple of times when I attempted to do this video before. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start putting together a couple of different faces to create a very unique and individual look for my character. Alright, let's bring in our first other face. Now each one of these is going to have a little bit of a little bit of effect on the way our face is going to look. So I'm just going to look here for a couple of different ones. And then I'm going to look for another one over here. I find these don't really match up very well. This is not the one I wanted. Alright, cool. So right now you can see that my face is being created. 100% of the DNA for that face is coming from the one on the bottom. I can move the sliders over here and change the look and characteristics of my character just by moving the sliders under each, underneath each of the faces. In simple mode, it's going to affect every part of the face at once. So if I change to another face, it's going to bring up the characteristics of that one, replacing the characteristics of the previous one. In advanced mode, it could be much more specific and much more useful. So in this way, the first thing that we are going to be looking at is going to be the brow. And the brow is going to be affected by choosing the faces that have the brow that you want. The brow being this area of the face, not just the eyebrows, but the brow or ridge of the face. Okay, so let's go in there and see which ones I might like. I do like this one. And let's see if I could take that one. And there's another one in here. I really... And this one. All right. So at this point, you'll see that there's 47, 43, 9.7. All these different things have been moved around on it. So we're going to move the sliders around to get the face that I want. So these oppose each other, if you look. But they have a different eyebrow structure that you're really not playing with here. You're playing with the brow itself. I think I'm going to go with that. I've made enough of a subtle change. When we look at the eyes, I always look at the eyes in a different way. I want them to be opened up and lift, lifted up. So I pick three faces that might have that look. 
So I already have that one in there. I'll take that one and this one. I'll probably want more of her look, more of her look, and a tiny bit of slant in there, and just change my face ever so slightly. Looking at the ears, you can do the same thing. Look at the ear structure of each face. Unfortunately, they don't let you see the sides of it to see how far they stick out, but we can change it by going in here and looking for what their ear structure looks like in here. All right, so when I come in here, make my ears a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, a little bit higher. And there we go. We got a nice little unique face in there. Cheekbones, most important part of the face. You're going to look over here at this part of the face and pick the elements of the face that you want. This one's nice. This one's a little bit wider, not 100% on top of that one. Let's go look at this one. That's the one that we have on the bottom. It doesn't actually show the same face if you look. It's not changing it to it. All right, let's go over here. Got myself bring my cheeks in just a little bit and then a little bit higher there I have a nice little bit of a di a little bit of a change there nose wise again I wish that the faces gave you a little bit more look as to what the nose actually looks like this one's gonna stay the same And let's go right there. Let's play with the nose a little bit. Shorten it up a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. Mouth-wise, not a lot of differences between the many different in here, there's some mouth. There are some mouths in the game that they just don't have. Like here, you can get a much wider mouth. But what I'm looking for is that that structure right there to get the little Cupid's heart right there. And that might mean looking for another one with that right here. Let's see how that looks. Much better. Good. And doing it this way, you're playing with bone structure, facial features that are on real life people because all the faces in this game supposedly came from scanning in a 3D image of somebody's head. So let's look at the jaw lines on the young ladies that are here. I like that one. I like that one. I don't want a rounded one. I like that one. Let's bring that out a little bit, see what it does. All right. That actually filled in that side of the face over there that I didn't want to do so much. But what does this do? It makes the chin less pronounced, this one. You can see how it brings it forward, and that's good, right there. Now, at this particular point, with just the few models that they have in here, you're probably not going to be able to make something that looks exactly like you or somebody else that you're, you're envisioning. But you could get a quite unique look out of this one. There we go. Good. Now, the exterior appearance is just going to be skin tones. Eye color. And again, primary colors are in here. 
Many hues and shades of them are not yet. Though here you have hazel, a lighter green, and a darker green. I don't know if they have that for everyone. Brown. Black. Whoa, that was just weird. Oh, we like the blue eyes. But I am a big fan of green eyes, red hair. Hair-wise, I would, I would definitely not advise you to pick any hair that is sticking up high as it's been sticking through the helmets right now. So going with the traditional Caesar or shorter hair is pretty awesome right now, but even the 50s look, which I don't know why they have this in here. I'm going with this with a wavy haircut and my hair color, which again, not a whole lot of differences here yet, but that could change in the future. And that's it. When you're done with your when you're done with the way that your character looks, click next. You'll see an image of your character. Right now you can't change body structure. That's not something that's in here. This is not a complete system or completed system. This is the first look that we have at the DNA system. And they're going to add more features and many, many more options in the future. So we have our character. We're going to confirm that. Now let's go into the Stanton system. We're going to wind up sitting at Port Olisar as we always do. And we're going to take a look from there. And the rest of the world has now come into view. We're going to go down and get some clothes. Let's see if we can get a new flight suit and see if they actually make them fit this young lady now. So I can make you look at her outside. I could go into F1, see if it's actually propagated yet. And we're still waiting for things to propagate, and it did. Now we do have a kind of issue that happens here in subsequent versions, or in previous versions. And that's the minute that we take off our helmet and save it, our person starts to act like she's dying. But I don't think that's going to happen today. So that's our girl. All right. So let's go. And we've got, we've got the magazine attached to our person, which is pretty funny. And we do have a, quite a few things that are happening here. But let's go in here and see if there's any clothes specifically that we could wear. And uh, oh, no, we'll try this on. Oh, that's just a shirt that we were, we would be wearing. That's no different than anything else. All right. It says to hit F to get out of the way. Can we lift that up, or is that just attached to us forever now? That's kind of weird. So it doesn't look like the clothes are actually making a difference in here. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, buy those. Confirm the purchase. And exit. I'm more interested in seeing what our character looks like with the uh, new flight suit on, but I have a feeling oh, that door doesn't work. Nope, the game is actually breaking, so before the game breaks, let's take a look at our person and just see how they look. Not bad. Let's go into F1 and see if I have anything else that I can trade into in here. So, waiting for the selection to propagate. Nope, we are desyncing from the game. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's pretty much enough. You got to see the character building process. You got to see my character and the way she looks in the game. She still has a very wide stance where her hips actually look like they protrude out on an angle from her body. But, you know, you can't have everything that you want. And that's exactly what goes on inside of the PTU at this point. So if you haven't done any kind of uh, Star Citizen testing in the past, I would say wait a little bit longer 
for the PTU to become a little bit more stable and then come, at, come on in and uh, try to make your own character. And folks, I want to thank you all for watching and listening. If you do like this episode, please click the thumbs up button below. If you do subscribe, please click on the notification icon and be notified of all my future videos. With that said, folks, you all be safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.